what is the biggest opportunity and challenge for employers with the OCA? I mean, I think in terms of opportunities, there's the possibility of having ultimately a, a healthier workforce. Um, if the ACA works the way it's supposed to and if we persist in reforms of how healthcare is delivered in our country, um, we're going to have a workforce that is healthier and ultimately long term rates that are lower. Uh, in terms of challenges, as I'm sure every employer is well aware, um, there are a good, it's a complicated law. There are a good deal of complicated regulations that require navigating. In many, many cases, um, employers are already doing what they're supposed to do and are compliant and can, can rest easy. But in many other cases, especially for small employers, mid-sized employers, they're in a bit of a, a brave new world. Well, in terms of advising clients, um, what's the best way to both meet the requirements and, and stay competitive? Um, you know, we try to start with what are employers doing now? Again, in a lot of cases, employers are already, quote, compliant. Um, they're already offering the kind of health coverage, particularly in the large group market, um, that, that the ACA would look to them to, to provide as opposed to paying penalties. Um, so we start there. We start sort of from what what an employer is already doing. And then and then we talk competitive advantage, um, what employers want to do, what they feel is the right thing to do, and then what it's gonna ultimately cost them in the new world. What's tripping up businesses the most? Um, I would say it's a combination of factors. There for uh, folks who are, again, on the, on the margins, I guess, the, the folks who have part-time employees, um, folks who are close to the 50 full-time employee equivalent uh, threshold, they are spending a lot of time and energy deciding and determining which side of the line that they're on, whether it's about their full-time equivalents, whether it's about seasonal employees. Um, so I, I guess you know, for those employers, that's the challenge. For the employer, employer base generally, I think I would say it's the sort of persistent theme that, that's very popular right now to repeat, whether or not it's entirely accurate, that this is so, so complicated that nobody can possibly comply and everybody's going to get screwed in the process. Um, and, and that's not 100% true. There's a lot of assistance out there and available.